Let's talk about Topaz Denoise AI. Should you get this software? Well, let's find out. In front of me is this image of Tarantula Nebula. And this is the, the crown and glory of Southern skies. You can't find it in Northern skies. But uh, I want to see whether Topaz Denoise can enhance this image. As you can see, there, uh, there are two mirror images. The right hand side is the enhanced image and on the left hand side is the original image that I took. And I don't know if you can see from there, but I can see, I can notice significant uh, differences. I really love that Topaz Denoise has, has done a good job in terms of uh, uh, the noise I can see is less on the right hand side. And I can also see that the stars are uh, tighter and it has just that HDR feel to it. But well, let's uh, zoom in and I'll show you what I mean. Let me open up my GIMP. And now this is the image that I took. This is a uh, auto stretch and this image doesn't have, a, have any noise reduction or strengthening done to it. And this is what Topaz has done. So before it's a lot of details are fuzzy and there is a reasonable amount of noise. And this is after. Well, I, I really think it's done a good job. Uh, particularly like that it's, it has tighter stars and it has a, uh, you know how sometimes you strengthen uh, an image or do noise reduction and it just wrecks it. Uh, but I love that this has uh, kept the detail. So this is, uh, have a look here. You can't see much and now you can see reasonable amount of details. So let's look at it on this, this uh, star cluster. Before, uh, there is no definition to it. And after, you can see from this uh, blurry mess that uh, uh, a good detail has emerged. Uh, what about this? Let's have a look at this. So this is before and this is after. So I really like Topaz Denoise because it really does a good job of uh, sharpening as well as doing noise reduction. I had a go at uh, on my own to try to replicate this, but I've not been able to do that. Uh, this Topaz AI uses AI to do noise reduction. So it really has uh, done a great job in my opinion. Uh, it has its weaknesses. For example, if you look very closely on, on you know, micro level, uh, you would see that it has it's actually uh, introduced some artifacts. So uh, this is before and this is after. So it's not perfect, but uh, nothing is perfect in the world. Uh, but for what it is, I think it's a good tool and it's, uh, uh, yeah, it, it works very well. Let me know if you use Topaz. If so, uh, what are your, what is your experience with it? Do you like it? Uh, do you dislike it? Uh, let me know in the comments below.